Okay, listen, we all know that fighting game developers love eye candy. The visuals are the first thing to attract the player's attention, only after that you get to the gameplay. It's because of this that we have so many iconic and distinct characters. Hot, cool, silly, weird, edgy guy, cute, big, small, you get the idea. These characters were made to grab your eyes and pull them in, while well, some games take a step further in that direction and make it basically their main thing. I mean the ones that have a pretty big emphasis on fan service. Today we're gonna take a look at some of these games and check out how they achieve this as well as how they play. We're going to start somewhat safe, somewhat mild and towards the end you'll see some more questionable things. Stuff you might find on the deep end of Steam Discovery queues. As always, if you wanna see more fighting game videos, consider dropping a sub. Cheers! SNK are known for many classic fighting games, but this is not one of them. With SNK Heroines Tag Team Frenzy, they took a shot at a more casual market instead of their core audience. The usual complexities were replaced with a much simplified input method that included no motion inputs, just your basic weak, strong and special attack buttons. This meant that just about anyone could simply pick up the game and become somewhat competent within a few matches. Another oddity about SNK Heroines is that you could only finish opponents with a super attack, kind of like that PlayStation All-Stars game. It all ended up being just a bit too basic to attract fighting game audience. But the game never presented the combat as the main selling point, instead they went all in on fan service. As you might expect, the roster is full of the most popular female SNK characters, although you might be surprised that it also included gender-swapped Terry, Yori and Skulomania, which is especially surprising given that it's a guest character from Street Fighter EX. Basic as it is, they even added story mode campaigns for every character pairing. And to this day, SNK heroines might just have one of the best customization systems among fighting games, only losing to titans like Tekken and Soul Calibur. Rumble Roses is an interesting exception among games like these. Usually the assumption is that since the game is going for sex appeal, the actual gameplay will be rather shallow. That's not the case here. The producer, Akari Uchida, made it obvious that they want to make a solid game for the fans of wrestling, but also make it unapologetically horny. Get hot girls to wrestle on command. Up in the ring, down in the mud, it's Rumble Roses, and it plays as good as it looks. Rated M for Mature, from Konami. To achieve their goal, they chose perhaps the best possible developer, the Japanese company called Yuke's. You might know them as the company behind the many WWE games, including the classics like the SmackDown. They ensure that the wrestling part of the game is not just serviceable, but actually enjoyable. Hey, all that was left was to nail the fan service, and they spared no effort here either. Konami contacted VSL, a company known for their high quality female character models, to ensure that the visuals hold up under the most perverse scrutiny. Judging by the interview with the producer, they probably would have even added full on nudity if they could get away with it. But instead, they tried to skirt the line with the mud fights, with the mud making characters look more undressed than they actually are. Aside from that, Rumble Roses also decided that each character needs a story mode. The roster is somewhat small with only 11 characters, but each one has two versions, face versus heel, which is basically evil versus good in wrestling terms, and each version has its own storyline. It's not fantastic, but it's crazy that it even exists. Now we're kinda past the sort of real games and into the realm of shovelware, although I was surprised to see that our next game actually has quite a few positive ratings on Steam. Whoever was in the audience for Fight Angel clearly got what they came for, or came from what they got. In terms of gameplay, Fight Angel is an extremely simplified blend of Street Fighter and KOF, which you will notice almost immediately thanks to the mini attack animations that are nearly one-to-one -one copies of attacks from those respective franchises. Instead, the game prides itself on deep customization system, boot physics and destructible clothing, which can leave characters completely naked as long as you're playing the uncensored version. Admittedly, the customization is more detailed than majority of fighting games, and parts of it even resemble actual porn games like Honey Select. However, it still begs the question of why would you ever play this game instead of something that focuses either on fighting or, well, on the other part. 
The existence of Nope Nope Nurses Melee is truly baffling. Just looking at it, it might seem pretty mild in comparison to prior games, but as usual, the devil is in the details. For starters, this is not someone's original title. This is a spin-off from a series of Japanese adult visual novels that heavily revolve around femdom and nurses. And that's exactly what you'll find after beating this game's story mode, at least in the uncensored version. If you're looking for anything else, then turn back now. A single look at the story page should be enough to tell how bad this game is. I mean, this is the first time I see so many disclaimers in the about section. This game is cobbled together in a fighter maker program that was released in the year 2000, and for that reason comes with a bunch of issues. Proper full screen doesn't work, controllers are not supported, there is no online, and they couldn't even translate the options menu. You will have to check the manual for that. And as if that's not enough, they openly admit that some backgrounds and music are AI generated. There is something about Street Fighter's far-reaching popularity that just invites spoofs, bootlegs, parodies and copycats of all sorts. As such, our last entry is about one such example, or rather two of them. For some reason, two completely different developers at two different points in time thought it would be a great idea to make an 18 plus fighting game and call it Street Fighter. The original called Street Fighter 2 came out in 1994 and didn't offer anything too crazy. As you might imagine, it's a fairly unremarkable Street Fighter 2 clone with bad controls and low resolution nudity. It's an interesting historical precedent though, as it might be the first erotic fighting game to ever be made but what came after it will make it seem like some classy, family-friendly entertainment. After a considerable amount of time, their mantle was taken up in 2008 by Studio S, an adult game developer from Japan. Unlike its predecessor though, they didn't stop at just making one game. They started with Street Fighter 4 and then found enough success to make several sequels and spin-offs, with the latest one being Street Fighter 6, coming out just a few weeks after the actual Street Fighter 6. While there is a censored version, it's still so explicit that you two probably won't be too happy about this one. And things only get worse if you play the full game because Studio S doesn't shy away from indulging some of the more extreme fetishes, and does so directly through gameplay. Aside from the expected clothing damage, finishing an opponent with a super will allow you to grab them and initiate 18 plus scenes that vary based on the characters. That said, it is still puzzling how this series managed to endure throughout the years as the gameplay represents little else than a dumbed-down Street Fighter, and surely there are less obtuse ways to get to its only real selling point. Well, congratulations to the few of you who managed to get to the end of the video. This is not something that we usually cover, but hopefully you found this look at the lesser known side of the genre to be entertaining. You might also enjoy our video about how sexualization works in normal fighting games, or subscribe if you want to see more videos about fighting games in general. Thank you for watching and goodbye!